Oh. Uh, they have a soft protection. So you know, if you if you if they press against soft, this is their force sensor. Uh. So it will stop. Two hundred thousand. No lah, sixty thousand only in this one. Sixty thousand. So there is a two arm. Sixty thousand. So you see how much, how, how many degree of freedom? So there is one, one two, two, three, four, five, six, and this one seven. Mm. So seven axis, degree. Uh, seven, axis. seven degree of freedom, not seven axis. Mm. Axis and degree of freedom is different. Okay, seven degree of freedom uh, simulate like a human arm. Mm. Okay, uh, but of course this one the problem is the load is only five hundred gram. Oh. Okay, so they, they cannot carry a lot yeah, of things and so on. Okay, we have a UR robot. Uh, there we have another mobile robots to carry. Okay, this one is actually our industrial 4.0 lab. Okay, so mm -hmm. normally we demonstrate to the uh, to the visitor about uh, the whole process. Mm -hmm. Even we have the, this one is a automatic storage system. So actually the what the Yumi uh, robot this is basically they are going to assembly all these parts, you know put it all together and then they close it they will put it here and then they will put to the automatic storage yeah so this one uh, as well you can see what type of uh, this is considered as robot what hmm. type of robot is that some carbon link just, uh -huh. uh, just one exist the the first type of robot which is what yes not the wheel the the the, 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 the you know, uh, is uh, like a uh, you know the X and Y axis kind of mm. robot, right? Mm. Yeah. 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 Linear. Yeah, linear kind of thing. So this one is only X, Y, uh, X and Y and also be able to go up, which is the Z. Yeah. So there's the example. I use this for my project. This one is the latest robot from Yumi. Okay, so because Yumi is a uh, pretty expensive. And only do certain limitation of the parts. So they uh, they also produce a single arm Yumi. Okay, so it's almost the same, but only single arm. It's also considered as a collaborative robot. This one is another collaborative robot by Outboard as well. Okay, so the reason we have so many brands is because we want to show the customers is uh, uh, show to the industry that we be able to integrate the process with even with the different robot because you know in the manufacturer. Uh, when they use KUKA, the whole production will use KUKA because they are familiar with how to program. Mm. Okay, but in this case, we are showing that you will be able to have integration with different robots and so on. But no, have no. Uh, we don't have one. This one, example of the SCARA robot. Okay, SCARA robot means there is a up and down and then they have another arm that is moving and then they are, the front arm is also moving. So this is what we call the SCARA robot. So you can see the axis, there is another axis here. And then up and down, SCARA robot. So means you have another one that moving here. Then imagine that you have another arm that can moving this way. Okay, this is a SCARA robot. Okay, and then of course we have a KUKA robot all there. The KUKA robot, I don't know whether I have KUKA. Many robots. Yes, we have also the drones. Wow. <laughs> and this is uh, uh, I think this is so uh, new for Kuka. Oh, no, I don't have one. Oh, we're going to buy a No, no, it's a Apas Kuka. Okay, the good thing of this Apas Kuka is this one is a uh, uh, capacitive sensor. Okay, means right, uh, because this is industrial robot. Industrial robot, they don't have uh, uh, force sensor and so on, but they use this capacitive uh, skin. So means when you are nearer, it was it will stop. Mm. Then if mm. you fall away, then it will continue moving. So this is capacitive sensor. Okay, so this one of the way to also make the industrial robot become collaborative robot because you know this type of robot is a is an industrial robot. So they use this capacitive skin. Mm. So when you nearer to the robot, it will stop. Is that instead of the force? Yes, instead of the force, but it's using the the yeah capacitive. Uh, it's a Simon S7. It's a typical. Uh, then you can see a lot of yellow safety. Okay. You see a lot of yellow, yellow one, right? It's all safety, safety sensor. sensor. Yeah. So when when this one take out, the robot will stop. Mm. And so on. All yellow, yellow sensor. So this one, when you see the uh, relay, the relay, relay is also considered as a safety switch. Mm.
can see also this is another example for laser scanner. Uh, the safety laser scanner. So this one, yeah, so like I said, if your robot nearer, right? If you nearer to the to their warning zone, the robot will slow down. But when you go to the stop zone, the robot will stop. So this is how they use lidar sensor. Okay, they are, they are, the other one also they have another lidar sensor there. So this one is connected to this robot. Okay, and then of course you have the light curtain here. So it's the same, right? When you go inside, the robot will stop. So this is the example of the light curtain. Uh, this is a 3D camera. It's not a 2D camera, 3D camera. So with the additional Z axis. So means you can pick up the part that is on top of each other. Means, means the part is on the top of each other. You'll be able to identify and pick up the parts. So send the signal to robot. A robot to yeah, of course. The robot will, uh, you will send, not send the signal, you will send the position of the parts okay. to the robot. And then robot what will the be able to of, uh, What term of uh, the, the communication? What term Ethernet. of? Ethernet. Internet. So how how identify the, the so the internet means they connected to one of the computer there, so yeah. the computer will calculate the you know the position of the parts, then the robot will so know. So you mean the this situation also linked to one software? To yeah, yeah, of course, to the computer of, of to do to calculate the position. Uh -huh. Then once you get the position, he will tell the robot uh -huh. where is the position. But robot, you robot need to do the calibration uh -huh. because the position of the parts is the camera position. Uh -huh. If your camera position you tell the robot, the robot will pick up wrong. So you need to so called uh, change the you know the base position to the camera position. So that is that's how you do the calibration. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Okay, so this is an example. So it's a student project. Okay, so yeah. So that is the example of it. Actually this is AG fee. Okay, the beauty of this AG fee is uh he don't have uh you know, don't have a wire, don't have a battery. Mm -hmm. What he did is they're using this, uh, you can see the white thing. This one is a uh, uh, wireless charging. Mm -hmm. So as long as they are moving along this uh, capacitive uh, conductor, the AGV will, uh, will be able to move. Okay, so there's no battery, there's no AC power. The power is all on this particular uh, things. Mm -hmm. okay, but of course, uh, yeah, this is how they detect. Mm -hmm. This is an example of the Industry 4.0 lab. So you can see the machine there is actually sponsored by Bosch. So that's why this is a SP Bosch uh, collaboration lab. So yeah, that's how, how we collaborate with them. Okay, alright. Okay.